right, folks, um, we're getting ready to do um, the blood stain and body fluid identification exercise. And so um, I wanted to record a quick video to um, show you the supplies that you're going to need uh, to complete this exercise. Uh, some of the supplies uh, you'll need for this exercise will come in your home lab kit, and some of the supplies uh, you'll have to provide from your own home. Most of them you'll already have in your house. Uh, the things you're going to need um, from your home lab kit include uh, at least four of these plastic disposable uh, test tubes. You're going to need at least four of these small plastic disposable transfer pipettes. Uh, in your home lab kit you're going to have a small bottle or vial, something that looks a little bit like this that's going to be labeled ethyl alcohol. Uh, you're going to have a luminol kit which is going to have a small bottle like this with a sprayer and some uh, powder to mix in. And then also you're going to have a small vial uh, labeled leucomalachite reagent. You're going to have a small vial uh, labeled phenolphthalein reagent. A small vial uh, labeled acid phosphatase test reagent. And those are the things um, that are going to be in your app kit, including your, your test tube wrap, which will be in your home lab kit as well. Uh, some things you're going to need to provide from your home to help you with this exercise. You're going to need some, some latex or some nitrile gloves. Uh, you're going to need um, several uh, paper towels, or I have some napkins here. Uh, you're going to need a, a, a marker, a permanent marker. You're going to need uh, some lemon juice. Um, you're going to need uh, a variety of different um, condiments, um, barbecue sauce, ketchup, uh, bleach. Uh, you're going to need an apple. Um, you're also going to need, uh, looking at our, uh, our list here, a little bit of a hot sauce like picante or salsa, some Worcestershire sauce, and uh, some raw hamburger meat, as well as a small piece of uh, cauliflower. Um, so those are the supplies you're going to Oh, and also you're going to need um, several just cotton swabs or Q-tips, just like I have here. Uh, so those are the supplies that you're going to need uh, to complete this exercise. Alright folks, uh, this next video is to help you uh, do a little bit of preparation uh, before you begin your exercise. So you should already have um, all of the supplies that you need for your exercise. And I'm going to show you a little bit of preparation you need to do before you actually begin doing your testing. Uh, a couple things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, label uh, your test tubes. You actually should have four test tubes. You're going to label them using your marker. Uh, one of the test tubes you're going to label um, just write water on there, so I'm going to write with my permanent marker, permanent marker water. Uh, one of the test tubes, uh, you're going to actually uh, put the leucomalachite reagent into the test tube, um, so you're going to actually label it uh, leucomalachite, so you don't get it mixed up. So I'm going to label that. I'm going to label um, another one of my test tubes with uh, phenolphthalein reagent. And then I'm going to label another one of my test tubes uh, acid phosphatase reagent. Um, the other thing I'm going to do in terms of preparation uh, for the exercise is I want to, to take some of the some of the things I'm going to be sampling or testing, and I want to make some, some stains on some paper towels or some napkins. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the barbecue sauce. This is one of the things we're going to be testing uh, with our reagents to see if it reacts. So I'm just going to pour a small amount of barbecue sauce onto my paper towel. Um, and on another paper towel or napkin, I'm going to pour a little bit of uh, the ketchup. And I want these to sit a little while. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't want to test them while they're still kind of wet. So just put a little bit on um, each one of the napkins, make sure you don't get them mixed up. And then let them sit for, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes or so. Um, and then let them kind of dry out a little bit because we really don't want to test them necessarily when they're wet. So that's part of what you're going to do in terms of your preparation. So I'm going to set these aside. Now, um, you're also going to prepare your luminol uh, lab. Um, you're going to take uh, the uh, contents of your uh, packet here and they're going to be poured into the bottle and then you're going to, to, to shake the, the contents a little bit um, so that you're going to be able to uh, spray it on your uh, simulator of synthetic blood. 
Um, now, the, the contents of this, um, you really don't want this coming in contact with your skin for a great deal of time. If you do get a little bit on your skin, just go ahead and wash it off with some soap and water. In fact, if you get any of the reagents on your skin, the leucomalachite, the acid phosphatase, the phenolphthalein, just make sure you wash them off. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm, I put my latex gloves on when I work with any of the chemicals um, for this particular exercise. They're not toxic chemicals, um, but we, we don't want to, to expose our skin to any of them. Again, if we do get a little bit on there, just wash it off with some soap and water. It's nothing to really worry too much about. Um, so before I pour the contents um, from my luminol packet into my bottle to mix up my reagent, again, I want to make sure that I'm wearing my gloves. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the bottle here. I'm going to go ahead and slide the top off of the envelope. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour the, the powder contents into the bottle. And just throw that away. Take my spray bottle and pour it on top here. And I'm going to shake it a little bit to stir it. And then this is going to be ready to use. Now this. Uh, this mixture, this reagent, doesn't last a, a, a long time. In fact, it goes bad uh, fairly quickly. It's not going to go bad within an hour or two hours, but uh, it will go bad in a day or two. It, it won't be uh, as uh, effective. And so you don't want to mix this up and then let it sit for three or four days before you use it. You actually want to use it the same day. So make sure uh, when you're ready to do your exercise that you're ready to actually use this once you mix it up. So anyway, that's mixed up. What we're going to do next uh, is we're going to put some water, just normal tap water, into our uh, test tube that's labeled water, and I'll get some of that in just a little bit. But also, I want to make sure that I transfer the contents of these vials uh, into my test tubes. Um, so, uh, now these, typically these vials, um, actually we normally wouldn't dump the contents into the test tubes, because actually uh, these are normally meant to be used uh, on scene by police officers or crime scene investigators. They're really meant to just be used one time and then disposed of, um, but we're going to actually use the contents uh, of this reagent mixture a few different times, and so actually what we're going to do is we're going to actually dump the contents into a test tube so we can use it more than once. Um, if you look at, at the, the vial itself, you can see that there's, there's two small little ampules of liquid in there, two small little uh, containers uh, that need to be mixed together. Right now they're, they're separated, uh, so to mix them what we're going to need to do actually um, is we're going to actually squeeze the vial and break the little test tube which is inside. So I'm going to go ahead and take this little cap off and then this little cardboard sleeve I'm going to put it over top of uh, the first vial and I'm going to squeeze and you're going to hear it break. All right, and now I'm going to squeeze the second one and you're going to hear it break. And then notice we go ahead and kind of make sure we kind of crush up the glass that's in there pretty good. We're going to let it kind of mix up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove this small piece of uh, swabbing or cotton at the end here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove this small piece of gauze which is on the end here um, and then just throw that away. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my test tube that I have uh, appropriately labeled leucomalachite and I'm going to go ahead and pour the reagent contents into that test tube. This is going to allow me to use the, the, the chemicals uh, a few different times rather than just one time. All right, then I can go ahead and throw this away. Now I have my chemicals transferred to my test tube. And I'm going to do the same thing with the phenolphthalein reagent. I'm going to pour the contents in there. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with the acid phosphatase reagent. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it into there. Uh, so now um, I have my chemicals uh, transferred to the test tubes that I need. I have my luminol reagent mixed up and I've uh, prepared some stains that I'm going to go ahead and test uh, with my reagents. So that's what you need to do in terms of preparation. The next video is going to show you how to actually do the tests.